Hey guys, I don't ice fish very often, but uh, I'm out here today and we are uh, trying to catch some fish. Uh, we've had, um, having a good day. Uh, we are in the upper peninsula of Michigan today. It is a balmy, I don't know, like maybe 18 degrees. Uh, I don't know, got about seven mile an hour winds, clouds, a bit of sun. And uh, we're, we're fishing for whatever bites. We're looking for crappie, or perch, or bluegills, or pike. I don't think there are any walleye in this lake, but uh, maybe there are, and we, maybe we'll catch some of those too. Uh, we are going to put up some tip-ups. And then we're going to be jigging for panfish. And uh, hopefully, hopefully we get some for you guys. It is beautiful out here today. Lovely. Lovely, cold, and beautiful. It's, uh, you guys know I'm mostly an open water fisherman, but uh, today, today we're on the hard water and we are, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna have so much fun. All right, guys, uh, many of you have asked for ice fishing content, so this might be the only video this year. We're gonna catch some fish, it's gonna happen. We're gonna freeze some fingers, it's gonna happen. All right, guys, as always, catch least wonder. Let's go catch some. Ooh. Ooh, it's cold. If you were to lay out all of the forms of fishing, spin fishing, bait casters, trolling, fly fishing, deep water jigging, ice fishing would be the last choice that I would make. It's the form of fishing that I'm least knowledgeable in, and really, it's the one that I find the least enjoyable. That is, most of the time. This trip was an exception. It was a beautiful day. The sun was shining. We got a late start out on the water, and everything just kind of worked out. Hey guys, look at this. Jumbo perch. We call these jumbos. This is the largest perch I've ever caught ice fishing. Bongo, it's not coming out. <laughs> if you can get it unhooked. <laughs> Check out that bad boy. Huh? Huh? Delicious. Delicious. Mm, you live a good life, honey. Live a good life. Oh, you get going. You get going. Oh, she's not going. She got it. Maybe. Oh, is she out too long? No. There you go. Yes! <laughs> first drop, too. First... First fish of 2023. Look at that delicious thing right there. I don't know what this is, but it's money. Straight money. Walking to the lake was one of my favorite parts of the day. And I think that's what I sometimes struggle with when it comes to ice fishing, is that for me, fishing isn't just about catching fish, but it's, it's the enjoyment of being outside. And ice fishing usually is bitterly cold, bitter wind, and a bit of disappointment when it comes to those fish. But this trip, we caught fish, we had fun, and the weather was perfect. I guess it wasn't perfect, as I was still bitterly cold, but with the sun out, it made everything better. The walk-in was, I don't know, maybe a mile. I dragged my sled for a bit of it, and Sean, who you've seen in other videos, came back to pick it up with his snowmobile. So mostly it was just a nice walk out and a nice walk home at the end of the day. I captured some amazing drone shots that were really perfect. The sun came out and I love the contrast of a person walking in the snow on a flat ice covered lake. For me, those are some of the coolest 
parts of ice fishing is seeing the, that imagery from above. My goal was to set out some tip-ups and basically jig the rest of the day. I wanted to try out my deeper chirp, which is kind of like a mini Vexlar unit. And for those of you that don't ice fish and don't know what that is, it's a fish finder flasher that basically tells you the depth, but it also tells you what's directly under the beam going down. And it's so finely tuned that it can see a tiny lure, um, a tiny jig at the bottom of your line, and it can tell when there's something next to it or by it or underneath it. And using this deeper chirp, it was really cool. Uh, it connected directly to my phone, and I was able to watch in real time as I jigged and fish came up off the bottom, approached my lure, and I knew when I was going to get a bite. Um, it made ice fishing so much more interactive than, than some of the things I've done in the past. And I still need to figure out a better way to mount my phone because I had to hold it or set it on my knee as I was using it. But it was really cool. And it was also really effective. It was super sensitive. And, and I'm, gr I'm glad I, I brought it. Jigging. I had, you know, a tiny little jig followed by a nymph with two hooks on the same line. And I only ended up getting bites on the second one, which was um, a tiny soft plastic used for crappie. We didn't end up catching any crappie, but we did end up catching perch, pike. And as soon as I left, Sean sent me a video of him catching a walleye. So we had so much fun out there. My fingers became amazingly cold as I was hand lining in and setting the hook on the tip ups and pulling up the pike. Right. All right, lift her up a little bit higher. Higher, higher, higher. All right, sick, dude. Beautiful. There we go, there we go. How could I see that flag all the way over there, but you were sitting right over there and you couldn't see it? Yeah, yeah, you had your back yeah. turned. Sean was nice enough to allow me to pull up either two or three of the flags that popped, and pulling those pike up was was really special. Is this yours? We haven't even we haven't even declared who's is who's yet. Are you sure it's a real fish? Yeah. Give it a little bit, it's just eating it right now. It's just eating it right now. It was running with it, now it's eating it. Hopefully. Maybe it dropped it. I hope not. I almost got a treble hook in my finger. Nice, dude. <laughs> almost. Can I check? Give it a couple, give it 10 more seconds, and if not, then you can check it. Okay. I've got pliers. Yes, yeah, so do I. Case. Yeah, give her a shot. So, yep. See if she's there. Yeah, she's there. Go ahead. There. There you go. Definitely something there. Feels like a pike. Look yeah. Look at that. Hey. 
Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, lying everywhere. That's fine, dude. Right. <laughs> it's, a, it's a pike, guys. A pike. All right. There you go. <laughs> nice. I was setting that one up and I was like, I'm pretty sure I set that flag. It's not quite like fishing during the summer, but but I went home at the end of the day with pike slime on my coat and I could smell it and it made me think of the summer months ahead. Ice fishing really isn't for everyone. Ah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. did you see that? That was a nice play. It can be a chore at times, and it's a lot of gear and a bit of struggle. But when everything comes together, fishing on the ice can be a lot of fun. And I hope that this video is the start to many more days out on the water. We have another flag, guys. Ah, uh, just stole it. Another one just popped. This this is yours. I took the first one. And the second one. It was like five miles an hour less wind or five degrees warmer. It'd be like beautiful up here. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm out here in a sweatshirt and I'm almost sweating. Yours or mine? I need to see it move first before. What does that mean? Uh, see if there's a fish still there. No, no, it's your hump. No? Yeah. Take that then. So which direction do you go? You uh, said other way. Should be yeah, the other way. Okay. A couple times. Give it a little bit? Yep. And then strip out six more inches of line, something like that. That's this fish. Okay. Yeah, she's on. Let her run if she wants to run. She doesn't want to run. Ooh! That is a crazy, pretty pike. Hey, 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 hey. There. Okay, if you open it, I'll get it. Got it. Alright. Pretty little fish, guys. Super dark. Oh, it just turned off. It's okay. Ooh, there she went. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed catching the fish and putting it together. If you guys want to see more videos like this, leave a comment down below. 
Let me know what your favorite part was and what you most enjoy about ice fishing. Also, let me know if there's something special that you think I should do. Should I target bluegill? Should I go for walleye? Should I try for a muskie through the ice? Let me know what your thoughts are. All right, guys. Signing out. This is Hates Wanderings. Catch, release, wander. I'll see you in the next video. Not a bad one, dude. Not a bad one at all, right here at the end. Nice. Woo! Woo, boy! All right, guys. That was it. We were packing up to go home and we just got one. Oh my gosh. We were packing up to go home. That sun's going down, it's getting cold and a flag went up. That was super cool, oh my gosh, that was special. Thank you for letting me take that fish. Yeah, that's your hole. Well, I don't know, it wasn't mine. Actually, it wasn't my hole, whatever. <laughs>